Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sam Bluebe video. In this video, I'm going to be trying to fix this uh, Game Boy Pocket, which I am pretty sure it's been found like in a lake or something, because uh, if I take it out of the bag, as you can see, it's corroded everywhere. You can see it all there. DC, you can see that the silk screen is starting to come off, which is never a good sign. Screen looks slightly discolored. And from the back, if I take this off, you can see that it's a lot worse. And also, if I can wall focus, you can kind of see down at the car slot that there's all corrosion along the pins along there, which is not good. Now, I got this from the job lot. Uh, basically, when I got the job lot, I realized this one was like extremely water damaged. So I put it in this bag and it's been sat in the bag for however long ago I got the job lot. I've been dreading doing this. So, yeah. Um, it is quite badly damaged. I am in nowhere near confident that I'm going to be able to fix this. But I thought it would just be a good video to do. Um, the start and select buttons are also discolored, they've uh, gone like a green colour. And just to show you, I have a DC connector here. I have tried this with batteries and I got nothing. I haven't tried it with a DC connector yet, but not hopeful. And nothing. The When I spin the uh, like DC barrel, it's very crunchy and... That has made all the end of the DC connector go green, which is not good. So, I'm not confident I'm going to be able to fix this, but like I said, I thought it would make a good video. Before I do this, I don't know how much corrosion is going to be in it, but I don't think it's that good for my skin, so I'm going to be wearing gloves for this. So, if I just put these on quick. I've never really dealt with anything this bad this is really the first very bad water damage thing that i fixed except for one original game boy which were um, the back pcb on it was just filled with corrosion that had clearly had water damage on it but it was nowhere near as bad as this because it was just the backboard not the whole console so i'm gonna start to unscrew this um, the battery cover is got all, it has got all stuff over it, I mean, sorry. Um, yeah, as you can see, you can literally see that this silk screen will just scrape off. I'm going to undo these screws, so I come back once I know we should just be able to lift this back off. And we can get our first look at it. Uh, these screws on the back were quite corroded as well. And... Well, you can see the corrosion on the pins there. You can mainly see it there, there, and there, obviously. And some, oh, that's going all the way under. But it's like a powder. That is a bit mushy. So, like I said, not confident I'm going to be able to fix this, but I am hoping on two things. One, that I'll be able to salvage this for parts, and two, I'm hoping that the screen in this won't be damaged because there is nothing on a on a Game Boy Pocket screen that can be affected by corrosion. There's no components that can go bad, it can just go dirty. So I'm hoping that the screen will be fine, but you never know with corrosion. The contrast wheel literally doesn't move i'm having to push very hard on that and it's only moving a tiny bit oh, there you go and the volume wheel is about the same so yeah the, i'm gonna take this board off it's a bit tricky to do this with gloves on there that and that screw is all corroded, which is lovely. If we just pull that out, you can just lift the screen connectors up like that. Oops. 
and we should be able to pull the motherboard up and out and we can get our first look at it well you can literally see the corrosion on the button contacts there is a big chunk of silk screen here which is great Let's lift that up quick but there is a lot of hair or whatever under that I'm gonna put this to one side actually if I do by some miracle get this working I'm probably gonna keep it in its original shell I'm not gonna lie that would be kind of cool um screen like I said doesn't look that bad got a bit of stuff on there but just more looks discolored than anything I'm gonna put this to one side actually now we can have a look at the motherboard and that looks a lot worse than I thought every single wire is filled with corrosion and that even looks burnt where does that oh that goes straight under the, to the main cpu oh that's that's never good yeah if you can see under every single last fire the they are corroded you've got a, an exposed copper there this is probably just going to come off yep and there is even what looks as if it's burning or something's burnt there I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I have an old electric toothbrush, which I'm going to use to try and clean this. Now, main areas I'm going to focus on is the power board. Um, so this little bit here, the main uh, CPU here, probably the cart reader, battery contacts, power switch, screen connector, and probably just here. Basically all of it, but I'm gonna make extra sure to get it off those parts, cause those are like the main important parts. The link port is rusted, just seen that. You can see. So not too hopeful for this, but I do fear that when I start cleaning this though, a layer of silk screen is just going to come off this because it is literally just flaking off here. This bit, you know, would probably even come off in one bit. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know if the silk screen is necessary or if it's just there to stop things from shorting together. So. You can look at it at two ways. Either if it turns out the silk screen is necessary, then fine. But you have to look at it as if I don't do anything with this, it's broken. And if I do try to do something with it and it just takes the silk screen off and that means it won't work, it's still broken. So I may as well just try my best. You can literally hear the corrosion on this because this should be smooth but it's not you can hear it's like sandpaper yeah. it is all coming off on my gloves but yeah. the power board looks bad no i don't even know why i'm saying this all of it looks bad um yeah i'm gonna just do a short time lapse of me cleaning this and show you after. Okay, so I finished cleaning it now. Um, the speaker came off, the wires are completely corroded, it made all the IPA go a green colour, and also the toothbrush head is now green instead of white, and so is the paper towel. Um, still nowhere near confident that this is going to work, but um, give it a go, I guess. I don't exactly know if this is safe to do, but I'm gonna plug my DC connector in and hope 
that nothing pops. And no, got the obvious nothing, which does not surprise me. Twiddling the DC connector, nothing. Yeah. So the only real thing I can do now is continue cleaning it, which I guess I can do, but I'll do it off camera. So, yeah. Also have to test the screen. I'll, I will test the screen in this video. See if that works at least. So yeah, gonna clean this again. Come back once I've done that. Okay, so I cleaned the board a bit more. And now it looks like this. There's more uh, copper exposed, um, which isn't good. The silk screen has basically all come off here and on the back. Um, yeah, haven't, haven't, still haven't tested it. Um, see if it works. So I'll do that now. I don't want to test it off camera in case something happened or whatever. Let's plug it in. And switch it on. And nothing. Oh, and uh, just to sh show you that this DC connector does work. I've got my favorite Game Boy Pocket here. If I plug this in, turn it on. As you can see, it does work. So, yeah. Um, not a lot I can do about this board. If I'm honest, it's probably just going to get put into a draw for spare parts and I'm probably just going to harvest it for well, it, its parts in case I need any but yeah the only thing that is left though is the screen in this so the screen has just come off it's got all stuff stuck on it no, anyway so if we just carefully take this screen out right, just be careful lift it up like that and lift this out and the front of the screen looks in mint condition hasn't even got a smudge on it there is some sort of it looks as if there's liquid on it but there's not don't know what that is back of the screen is oh this is stuck down with tape okay um that all looks okay so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna disassemble this and then I will swap the screens over and I'll show you when I test it. So I can just undo this lock here now and lift this screen out. I'm gonna leave this all together. Take this screen that's got like the weird liquid on it and flip this in like that. And then carefully just do up the locks either side. And then finally grab the DC connector, plug it in. And now we can test. So I'm probably, I'm expecting this to have lines on it. Because what are the chances that the pocket the Game Boy Pocket motherboard is destroyed and the screen is perfect. So, see this. Is that the. Oh my god. Okay, that is, um. That is, uh, very amazing. Okay, wow, I'm actually impressed by that. That the screen is all there. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Screens are worth like 30, 40 pounds on their own. So, I might sell that or might keep it for part. Probably keep it. But, yeah. Um, it's going to be the end of the video. Sad I couldn't fix this, but I'm just going to keep the parts from it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.